Hello, my name is Rachel Mercer, and I'm the artistic director of the Five of the First Chamber Music Series. For the past nine years, Five of the First has presented String Extravaganza, a concert of string chamber music with almost always the same six players. Jonathan Barrick and Chaba Kosho on violin, Caitlin Boyle and Teresa Rudolph on viola, and myself and Rachel Dessur on cello. Together, we covered much of the string sextet repertoire, as well as duos, trios, quartets, quintets, always relishing our friendship with lots of goodwill, laughter, and love for chamber music. On October 31st of this past year, 2020, our beloved Jonathan passed away from a cancer that was only found a few weeks before. That day, the world lost a brilliant violinist and unbelievable mind, and his colleagues, students, friends, and family lost the most beautiful human being. And for the past 12 years, he and I were partners in music and in life. We honor Johannathan with this video, with a performance of one of his favorite pieces of chamber music. Joining us on first violin is Scott St. John, his friend and colleague for 25 years. Here is the second sextet in G major, opus 36, by Johannes Brahms. Thank you. 
I knew Yonatan for over 25 years, and I would like to reminisce about his warm, generous personality, his supersized positive energy, and sense of fun. Talking about Yonatan immediately makes me think and kind of visualize him in a chamber music rehearsal. Yes, he could be serious, we all know he's an amazing violinist, but I often felt that Yonatan's gleeful and mischievous giggling 
was just hovering below the surface, ready to emerge and liven up any rehearsal with laughter and good spirit and a twinkle in his eye. I suppose that good spirit was what really defined Yonatan, and that spirit was really totally authentic in his life. He loved his family, he cared about his students, he cared deeply about music, and he would do things like take a crazy two-day trip to Israel just to be at his nephew's bar mitzvah. One of my favorite memories of Yonatan was way back in 1995. Uh, I had asked Yonatan to join my old Millennium group for a concert in London, Ontario, and we all stayed at my mom's house, and wow, he won her over, I think, faster than any other guest we ever had. I came down for breakfast one morning, and Yonatan was grilling my mom for fun stories about me as a kid. And I really wish that I could have done the same with his mother. I bet there would have been some really fabulous stories. So Yonatan, I hope you're still laughing wherever you are, and I'm honored to be part and playing this concert uh, in your memory.
Um, when I think of Johanneton, of course, I remember his infectious sense of humor. He kept us in stitches in our rehearsals to the point that I couldn't even play because I'd be laughing so hard I'd be crying. But at the same time, he was a dear, dear friend that genuinely cared about everyone, really. Um, he had the best advice. He would listen so well. And um, his warmth and his beautiful musicianship um, is, is dearly missed, I know, by a lot of people. It seems like there was a lot of conversations uh, that ended up unfinished. Uh, with him, he was interested uh, in, in everybody, and he had an open mind. And it felt like every time I saw him, we kind of went on wherever we left off a year ago. And um, he always had the special talent to, to turn conversations meaningful or, or funny or or just, which he also, of course, applied in music, and which is what made him this incredible musician and human being. We miss him dearly.
Johanna Jin, this performance of the Brahms Sextet was bittersweet for me. It was bitter because I would truly miss you so much. And it was sweet because I knew you were with us as we were playing. I, could, I can feel your spirit through the music. And I know that it will continue um, in our hearts and in the hearts of everyone that you touched with your incredible life force and your deep music making. I first heard about Johannitin when I was a student and all my friends who were violinists were talking about what an amazing teacher he was. So when Rachel asked Caitlin and I to join her in playing strings for sextets, I was quite intimidated actually. But from the very first rehearsal, I had no need to be. Johannitin was so incredibly warm and welcoming and he had such a lively sense of humor. So for the past 10 years, uh, our sex tech concerts have really been basically the highlight of my year, professionally and personally. And actually it was really wonderful playing this Brahms because in the second movement, there's this really lively dance part, which really just made me think immediately of Johannesen. And I think I'll always remember him when I hear that piece. So thank you, Johannesen, for all the music and all the laughs.
Jonathan would probably leave it there with the uplifting exuberance of that ending matched only by his own boundless energy. But when I received the music in, this, in the mail for this next duo, one of many that he and I were to perform together this coming year and beyond, I couldn't help but want to share this one beautiful movement. Scott joins me again on violin from Adolphus Hale Stork's Evan Song, A Suite of Nocturnes. This is Gently Say Goodnight. <laughs> 